In the Nodao town in Sanwa Madre during the Eastern region, market women, shoppers and indigents do brisk business alongside the crumbling colonial buildings which was nourished in the early 80s by the cash from tractor assembling company. Recharge card retailers strut the sidewalks. But as we walk through the wretched dilapidated entry point of Universal Tractor, it offers testimony of the woeful state of one of Ghana's vibrant tractor assembling plant. Universal Tractors which metamorphosed from their great mechanized limited in 1977 used to boast of several branches across the country from Wa to Tamale and hundreds of workforce. Now it barely employs 12 workers. As the news team barged into the premises of the company, it was greeted with leftovers of past works of staff of Universal Tractors, worn out thighs, rims, and decaying wooden pallet were the lot. These gradual rotten tractor parts and equipment had been left to the vagaries of the weather and perhaps sums up how the one-time giant plant pool is crawling on its feet. The workshops, assembling, overhauling and spraying units appear old, whitewashed and collapsing. Mr. Sowa, a technical director at the company, recount how they used to import parts of tractors, assemble them and sell to district councils, agro-industries and individuals. According to him, they are now operating on a skeleton staff. With sadness written all over his face, he recalls that they've done all what it takes to resuscitate the company but to no avail. What strikes the news team is that, at a time when the plant pool industry is witnessing a boom, what could have crippled a once lively facility to such a state? The plant now uses the few tractors at its disposal to plow the field of small scale farmers. The machines appear cold and dirty. Some are gradually giving way to rust. Interestingly, but have also found their homes in this dark premise of universal tractors.
Unemployment is one of the challenges facing the Ghanaian economy. Though there are unofficial statistics to buttress this, graduate unemployment is at an all-time high. And this young man, who has taken to doing narcotics, claims unemployment is the cause of his woes. 